Hi, my name is Darlene Fee. Thank you so much for your time and thanks for the click. Today, we want to use the calculator to learn how to solve objective questions involving indices. On your left hand side of the screen, we are having past questions regarding indices and then we want to help find a better way of using the calculator to solve indices question, especially in objectives. The first question, if 8 exponent x is equal to 2 root 2, find the value of x. So for using calculator to solve indices, you do not need any special function on the calculator. All you need to do is just enter the question the way you see it. So let's enter this equation on the calculator. We have 8. Now for the exponent x, we use this exponent because this gives you the opportunity to edit it. So the exponent is x. To get x on the calculator, you click on alpha and then you click on x. Then the next thing, you can see that the cursor is up and we are done with the exponent. So we need to bring the cursor down. You do so by hitting the right arrow key. Now you see the cursor is down. This equal sign that you see, okay, it is an equal sign just under the shift, this one. And to access it, you press on alpha, and then you click on it. So we have it. Then we have 2 root 2. So the root 2 comes in. Now because in this equation, we are having a variable x, when you are done entering your data, I keep saying, kindly go back to the question and cross-check that you have entered exactly the right thing in the question. Once you are satisfied that you've done the right thing, simply click the shift sign and then you click on the solve. The calculator will then ask you what value of x do you want to use. Please notice that in equation always let's use the value zero. So you all you do here is I just click on zero. When you are done, hit the equal sign button. And then we are getting the answer to be 0 0.5. And we know 0 0.5 is the same as 1 over 2. If you're not too sure, simply dial 0 0.5. Okay, so let's dial 0 0.5. Then he'll hit the equal sign button. So we are getting our answer to be 1 over 2. Going through the possible answers, the right answer is option C. And we are done with this. Okay, so now we move on to the second question. And the question says, evaluate bracket open 32 exponents minus 1 over 2 times bracket open 1 over 2 bracket close exponent minus 3. Okay, so what do we do from this end? All we do is that we want to enter this expression on the calculator exactly the way it is in the question. So you open the bracket, we have 32 and then you close the bracket. Then we have exponent. So you click on the exponent symbol. And here the exponent is negative 1 over 2. That is a fraction. So you click on the negative sign. And then you hit on the fraction button. And here is it. So you hit on this. We have 1 over 5. So 1 at the top. Then you click on the down arrow. And then we click on 5. So we are done with it. Now you can see that the cursor once again is down. But we are done with the down element. So let's move the cursor away. You can do that by clicking on the right arrow key. Okay, so we are still up there. So let's click it again. Now you see that we are down. So we can now continue the expression. So multiplied by bracket open. Another bracket comes. So here... The number there is a fraction, so you hit on the fraction button. We have 1 over 2, so 1 up there, you go down, and then you click on 2. The cursor is down, so let us move it up, because we are done with the fraction. You hit on the right arrow key, then you close your bracket, and the exponent here is negative 3. So let's go for the exponent symbol, and then negative 3. Okay, now because there is no variable in this, that is no letter is found in this expression, there is no need for you to go and click on shift and solve no. Once there is no variable, simply hit straight away with the equal sign down. So we click on it and we are getting 4. 
Now, going through the possible answers, you can see once again that the right answer is option C. We are done. And this is Novdek question in 2007. Now, let's go to the next question. Once again, I want to clear my calculator so that I can have the free space to solve the next question. The next question says that solve the equation 2 exponents 2x minus 5 is equal to 8 exponent 0. Now, I want to enter this equation on the calculator. So, I hit on 2. Then I go for the exponent key. So, here is it. So, exponent. Now, I need 2x. So, 2. And then, to get the x, you hit the alpha sign. And then, you click on x. So, I have 2x. And then, minus 5. So, minus. Then, I have 5. Okay. So, I am done with my exponent. I need to bring the cursor now down because it is still up and always to bring your cursor down please hit the right arrow key my cursor is down then it's equal to 8 exponent 0 that so the equal sign you click on alpha and then you click on the equal sign here and now we have 8 exponent 0 so I go for the exponent key and then the exponent there is 0 okay now having done that because there is a variable that is x in this equation to solve it you have to press the shift and then you press the solve it will ask you what value of x do you want to use now always let's click on zero i want to use x is equal to zero so i press zero and then you press the is equal sign button and the calculator is saying that the right answer is 2.5 when I go through my answers, the right one is 2.5. That is option A. And so you pick option A and you are done. Now, let me clear the calculator once again so I can solve my next question. Please, anytime you are done using the calculator, for safety purposes in examination, learn to always clear the calculator. The next one is if bracket open 3 exponent n minus 1 bracket close. Okay, um, exponent 1 over 3, that is 3n minus 1, bracket close, exponent 1 over 3 is equal to 2, find n. Now, what we do here is that I want to enter this equation on the calculator. So, I open the brackets, I have 3. Now, if you go through the calculator, the variables or the letters we have, we don't have N there. So, I want to encourage you, whenever you are getting variables, let's use X instead of any other variable. So, in place of the N, I want to use X. And to get the X, you click on alpha, and then you press the X. And then we have minus 1, so minus 1. And then you close your brackets. The next thing is to have the exponent and you can see so you click on the exponent symbol now my exponent here is a fraction okay so you go for the fraction key and this is the fraction key and then i have one over three as the exponent so one up and then you move down and then three down your case should now move from where it is and you can do that by clicking on the right arrow key so my case is up I need to press it again. So please, whilst you are doing this, always be checking where the Keza is. Okay, so now that I have my Keza where it needs to be, I can now go for it's equal to 2. Then that equal to, you click on alpha, and then you click on it's equal to, then we have 2. Okay, now once again, this is having a variable. So that means to get your equation solved, you always press the shift and then you press the solve. It will ask you what value of x do you want to use. In fact, here you will see that solve for x. Okay, solve for x. It means what value of x do you want to use. Once again, let's use 0. So you click on 0. And then you press is equal to. And the calculator is saying that the right answer is 3. Now let's go through the options. And you can see the 3 is there. That is option 2. And then you pick it. Now, I want to clear my calculator quickly for the next question to be solved. Okay, so the next question, that is solve 2, bracket open, 1 over 8, bracket close, exponent n. 
and is equal to 32 exponent n minus 1. So I need to get this on the calculator. So I have 2. Then you open the brackets. The next item is a fraction. So let's go for the fraction button. And then we have 1 at the top. You move down. And then we have 8 down. We are done with the fraction. That means the cursor must move. And you hit the right arrow key. We have now moved the fraction. I'm the cursor. So we can close the bracket. Now the exponent here is n. And as I said, we don't have n on the calculator. So we want to replace the n by x. And to get the x, hit the alpha. And then you hit the x. So we have it there. Now the next thing we do. So look at this. Now you can see where my x is. Because I did not click on the um, the um, exponent button. So look at where the x is. Now you do need the x to be here. You need the x up. So I clean it. And then you hit the exponent button. Then you go for the x. That is alpha and then the x. Now I am having the right hand there. Now if I continue. Okay. From where the cursor is. It means the cursor is still in the exponent mode. Okay. But we don't need the um, equal sign to be in the exponent column. We need the equal sign down. And to bring it down, simply click on the right arrow key. And then I have it down. So to get the equal sign, you click alpha. And then you click on it's equal to. So we have it down. And now we have 32. So 32. Now exponent n minus 1. Knowing that we are replacing the n by x. Now we need to click on the exponent key. So that we can go to the exponent column. So you click on this. And then to get x, simply press alpha. And then you press the x. Then we have minus 1. So minus 1. Now, I want to be sure I have entered the right thing. Now checking from the question and what I have on the calculator, they are the same. Now that I am satisfied, I can now solve my work. And to get it solved, you press the shift. And then you press the solve. Always, we are using x is equal to 0. So you click on 0, and then you hit the is equal to button. Your calculator will work, and it give you the right option. So we are getting 0 0.75. Now, when you go through this, we are 4, 2, this, and that. Now, if you are familiar with it, you know that 0 0.75 is the same as 3 over 4. If you are not too sure of this, simply dial 0 0.75. 0.75 on the calculator and then you press is equal to now you are seeing that 0 0.75 is the same as 3 on 4 now you go through your answers you can see that the correct answer is answer C and we are done now we move to the final question once again I want to clear my calculator okay so to clear the calculator we are familiar with it those of us who are not too sure Please look at the description button. We have a video on how to clear the calculator. Okay, now I want to encourage you, if you are yet to subscribe to this channel, please hit that red button down. It is free. You will not pay for it. So simply click on subscribe. So you will be able to get updates on all other videos. The last question, solve for x. If the equation 1 over 3 bracket close, exponent 3x is equal to 81 exponent minus 3 over 4. Now we want to enter exactly this equation on the calculator. So you open the brackets and then you go for, because 1 over 3 is a fraction, you go for the fraction key, then you enter 1 and then you go down and then you enter 3. Now once we are done, you need to move the cursor up. So you click the right arrow key. And now you close your brackets. Now you go for the exponent. So let's click the exponent symbol. We have 3x. So you click on 3. And to get the x, you press alpha. And you press x. So we are done. You can see clearly that the cursor is up. That is so in the exponent mode. Now we want the cursor to come down. So to do that, simply click on the right arrow key. Now let's go for the equal sign. That is alpha. And then you press this. So you are getting the equal sign. We have 81. So 81. 
Now we go for the exponent. So let's click the exponent symbol. The exponent is negative 3 over 4. This is a negative sign. So let's click the negative sign. And then go for the fraction key. Because 3 over 4 is a fraction. You click on the fraction key. We have 3 at the top. You move down. And then you have 4 down. Because there is a letter. That is a variable in this equation. To get it solved. You press shift. You press solve. Now always we are using x is equal to 0. So simply click on 0. And then you hit the equal sign button. And you are getting your final answer to be 1. Now let's go through the possible answers. And going through it, you can see that the 1 is D. And this is how to use the calculator in solving questions involving indices. Thank you so much for watching this video. And we know you have subscribed. Thank you. Have a good day. Bye-bye.